Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading, yes, for Thursday, I'm sorry, not Thursday, Wednesday, July 17th, 2019. Um, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, and just a quick note about that. Um, if you do want to get a personal reading from me, it is much better for you to just email me instead of um, hitting me up through Facebook or Instagram. Instagram is a better option than Facebook because I found that when I get messages on Facebook, I don't actually get a notification from it, nor do I get even like a notif like I don't get like a, a like a prompt saying like someone sent you a message. And even when I'm on Facebook, I don't see notifications from the messages until like long after I've received the message, I've started to realize. So if you hit me up on Facebook, it's it, the chances of me getting back to you as soon as possible are really slim. Instagram is, is easier, is better, but even then, you know, things get lost and sometimes I forget or sometimes I miss something and I don't see it right away. And even still, if you were to hit me up on either one of those platforms, I would just ask for your email address and then redirect you to email because that's where I really do all of the scheduling and all that stuff. So. If you do want to get a, mess, a reading from me, just um, just email me, okay? It's really it it it'll save us time and um, you know an aggravation later on, okay? Cool. So next second thing, um, somebody yesterday in left a comment on morning on morning coffee for yesterday, asking about you know what the pre shuffle is and everything like that. So I'm gonna explain kind of how I'm starting to break this down. Um, I do really enjoy getting the pre shuffle energies i don't really have a reason why it just feels good maybe it's just a nice change i don't know but i've started doing that throughout and it's actually served to proved to be a really good way of getting the general feel of the reading so what I, when i say pre-shuffle what i do is i i you know i get up in the morning i do my thing i get ready i sit down i i and, and start to cook, to channel the energies for the day, channel what the, the message for the day, okay? Keep in mind that these messages are timeless. However, this reading today is gonna be a little bit different because I actually set an intention to speak about something specific. But in general terms, I sit down, I say, okay, for example, Wednesday, July 17th, best messages please and I you know I, I handle the cards I shuffle them up a little bit and I just and as I'm collecting the energy or as the as I'm channeling the energy a lot of the time the some cards will start to fall out and as those cards fall out I start to you know read the message build the story of what the message is for the day maybe I'll take a few more I usually like to get like three cards for the pre-shuffle and then, you know, I start to say, okay, where are we going with this? And so I can bring that to you. And then once we get to the actual message, the actual bulk of the message, which is where I pray over the cards, I channel a little more, I shuffle, and then I lay it out. Um, that's the, the core of the message there. And then from there, we get the clarity and the oracle guidance surrounding the message for the day. Okay, so hopefully that helps um, clear it up, maybe, especially for the individual that did ask that question. Um, okay, so getting into today's energy. Now, normally, I don't really direct these readings for morning coffee. Normally, I just allow it to come out. Like, whatever spirit wants to discuss with us that day is what comes out. But because we had that partial lunar eclipse and the full moon last night and today, I mean, it's, it's um, I, I think it's, was it the 16th and 17th or 17th and 18th? I'm not sure. Um, but depending on where you are in the world, it happened at a slightly different time. But for us here in the United States, it was last night. And um, so I have felt last night I kind of got the idea maybe I should do a full moon reading to, today. And then I, when I got up today and I was, you know, I did my yoga, I did my meditation and all that, I was like, yeah, let's do a full moon reading. Um, we'll say post full moon reading because technically it did happen last night for us here in the United States on the night of the 16th. Um, oh no, it is. It's the 16th, 17th. Okay. So, okay. So, um, 
it's interesting because yesterday I had a really great day. Even though I woke up, <laughs> I woke up and had a little bit of a breakdown yesterday because of some things that are going on right now all absolutely connected to the full moon now I'm realizing. But um, I had a little bit of a breakdown. I had a little bit of a shaky morning yesterday. And then um, we ended up going to the beach. And first of all, okay, so I did some readings at the beach yesterday and it was fucking fantastic. Like I, I would absolutely do that again. And me and my friends have this this like pact where we're, we're, we plan on going to the beach at least once a week. And it's normally on Wednesdays. Although yesterday, we went yesterday because we were trying to get some other friends in on the subject and they freaking bailed on us, you freaking flakes. Anyway, <laughs> they were they were these, I mean, they, two of my friends were like so gung-ho to go and then all of a sudden they dropped off the face of the earth the next day, whatever. Okay, fine. But anyway, we had a great day at the beach yesterday, me and my dear, dear friend Nat and our other friend. Um, and so, being at the beach really kind of helped me forget about all of the bullshit that I was dealing with in my head. Um, and it's crazy because like I had such a great day and then immediately, as soon as we start, as Nat and I started to pack up to leave, that's when the, that's when like reality started to set in and all of the things that I had completely forgotten about throughout the day started to come back. And by the time I had gotten home, I was in full blown purge mode last night, guys. Like I went to bed like around 10 o'clock. Um, my apartment faces or my room faces a direction in which I actually can see the sun and the moon rising, which is so freaking awesome. Um, but I was laying in my bed, it was like 10 o'clock at night and I could see the full, the moon was, was full. It was shining right down on me and the purge was happening and I actually found a spot in my heart chakra where I was holding some sort of wounding and uh, and, 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 and damage. So I really, I, I spent that time just laying in bed, feeling through this wound. Um, and it was fantastic. And, you know, I eventually I started to feel better and that's when I fell asleep right then and there. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a pretty purgy time, really, really purgy time. So when I got up this morning, I was like, okay, yeah, let's do a full moon reading for the kids here, okay? So let's see what we've got here for your pre-shuffle. The first card that came out was the Four of Swords in reverse. And um, it's it's this side of the card, which is very, very much a... a, a um, uh, gives the energy of, you know, taking a break, taking a rest, taking a nap even. It also gives a bit of an energy of a solitude type situation, whereas this side is like, okay, you've got this war raging around you, you've got to take some time out. Or things got to a point where you, maybe even you've gotten past the point of no return and all you can really do is just surrender at this point, okay? But that's that side of the card. It came out this way. Um, and, and there's a solitary aspect to this that I think someone is breaking free from, all right? Um, but also, there's an energy of, okay, well, I was seeing it one way, but now I'm actually seeing it another. The first way I was seeing it was, there's an energy of, <coughs> excuse me, the first, uh, someone is coming out of some sort of respite, some sort of break. Um almost even coming out of hiding. Now, the other way I'm seeing this also is that maybe some of you are resisting taking a step back. Okay? But you also have the Seven of Wands here with the Magician. Um, and this is mainly why I feel like some of you are coming out of some sort of, like, hermit mode or, or respite or something like that. Or you've got, you've, you've done, maybe you need to come out of this because you've done the work that you need to do in order to, to have healed or to gain some sort of new perspective. And now maybe, you, maybe you're looking out, you know, on the horizon with the Seven of Wands here and recognizing that you really have no one standing in your way anymore. You don't have to be so defensive, okay? Because look, I mean, that's that person is the only one standing, all right? I mean, there's shields and, and weapons there, but there are no soldiers to wield those shields and weapons, all right? And then you have the magician. So there's an energy of manifesting something new. I feel like some of you are coming out of some sort of non-manifestation mode, but then at the same time, you have the chariot in reverse, with the Four of Wands in reverse. 
And this part is kind of what worries me a little bit. It doesn't really worry me. It concerns me, but only in the sense that it just feels like something, something, I want, oh, honestly, what I want to say is something didn't go well. I'm feeling an energy of, for some of you, not, not continuing to pursue something is what I'm hearing here with the chariot. Four of wands, it feels to me like something just went wrong maybe for some of you, or there isn't enough of a foundation, there isn't enough of a connection, um, maybe someone is choosing not to continue building with somebody, four of wands in reverse, chariot in reverse, and maybe going in a very different direction. Four of swords in reverse here is talking about maybe you were in an energy of trying to wait it out and see what comes next. But now you may have already gotten that insight. You see with the magician here and the sh that shooting star, I think for some of you, you really have got the insight that you need. And maybe you recognize that maybe, okay, all right, okay. Maybe you recognize, recognize that you've been defenseless in a sense, because maybe all of these uh, weapons and armor and um, uh, shields are your army that maybe has abandoned you or maybe was never really there to begin with, um, or maybe they, they got all defeated and you're down to the last one, who knows, okay? Everybody's situation is going to be different. Um, Maybe, that could be it. Although the Seven of Wands doesn't feel bad here. You're standing on your own, but it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. From this place, you can manifest. And also maybe you're seeing, maybe you found the blockage that has been blocking you from manifesting. You've gained the new perspective. You're not going in the same direction that you've been going in any longer because the foundation just wasn't right. It wasn't the happy foundation that you thought it might have been. And so now you have changing course here. Chariot in reverse, okay? Four of Wands does talk about marriage. It talks about the family. It talks about the home. Um, but it doesn't have to be a romantic situation. This could be career and financial. This just feels maybe it's a detour for you or it's just a change in direction in your life path. The four, well, the Wands suit um, the wand suit can absolutely represent spirit, so this could definitely represent your spiritual path or your spiritual alignment or what resonates with you on a soul level, okay? Both of the fours in that pre-shuffle were reversed, so there is a, a strong sense of whatever it is. Oh, wow, the chariot just come, came back out again. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, in reverse, with, yeah, oh, yeah, all right. Ooh, ooh. The oh, goodness gracious. Okay, we've got the chariot in reverse here. We've got the king of pentacles in reverse here. We've got the three of wands in reverse. And then we also have the ten of cups in reverse. So for some of you, we're talking about a love situation here. Um, or it could be career also. Definitely could be career. But I literally, I heard a love situation, strongest. But but take it as it resonates, okay? This, is not, this channel is not just about love. This is about everything, all right? So however this fits for you, go for it. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but that doesn't have to be it. You could, but you're dealing, someone here is dealing with a masculine energy. Um, this could be a boss, absolutely could be your, your boss with the King of Pentacles here. Um, it's not in alignment with you. It's not the fulfillment that you thought it was. Um, it's not the fulfillment that you thought it was. It's probably not going to come through here. Three of Wands. Or there's a delay. Or you are the person that's saying, no more. I'm not letting this happen again. I'm not pulling this in. I'm not manifesting this anymore. I'm not giving any more to this situation, Three of Wands. I, because the Three of Wands is a card of following through with a choice that you've made um, and, and continuing to put the momentum into it. But here, the Three of Wands in reverse is saying to me, especially with the Chariot in reverse, you're going in a different direction. The Chariot came back out again. You're going in a different direction. And it kind of looks like there's no going back here because look at this. You see how the, the, the ground is kind of, oh, wow. The ground is kind of just like disappearing as this chariot rolls on. It's very much like as this chariot moves, the ground appears beneath it. But once this has kind of, 
once it, it, it just kind of feels like once this individual moves on, there really is no going back, um, which is unfortunate. I just feel, I feel like you might have been dealing with, with an individual that was just really extremely materially oriented. Um, and it's, I just heard it's not about you, it's about them, okay? So maybe if you didn't fit their life or their goals or whatnot, or what they were manifesting for themselves, first of all, no tea, no shade on you if you are that masculine energy that you are absolutely 100% allowed and encouraged to manifest exactly what it is you want. But for the individual that doesn't didn't align with this King of Pentacles, it's really not about you. It has nothing, nothing to do with you, all right? So let's get into the message here. I'm gonna give this one shuffle and then... <clears throat> Whew. And then we'll see what we've got <clears throat> for today. I have noticed though with this new format, it does make these videos a lot longer, but I have the time now, so I'm gonna do it. I'm not in school any longer, so it's not like I have to rush through. Well, I didn't have to rush before. Well, yes, I did in some cases. Anyway, sorry, I'm rambling. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, July 17th, 2019. Oh, also, let's talk, I, I, because I forgot that I wanted to, I want to, um, let's focus this on the full moon and this lunar eclipse that we had um, within, in Sagittarius. Please bring us the best message and guidance here. Uh, what are we purging? What are we healing? What are we changing? What are we moving towards? Most importantly, not, let's not focus so much on what the purge, the actual purge is. Let's focus on where, where are we moving towards what is this change in direction for us in this uh post full moon post lunar eclipse energy thank you so much spirit okay um so normally these readings are timeless, right? But this is a little more specific. It does have, we are focusing this reading on this uh, partial lunar eclipse that happened on the 16th, 17th of July. So if you're finding this later on, this might in fact resonate with you. And if it, re if it maybe it didn't happen at the time of the, the eclipse, but maybe it resonates with you later on at some point, whatever, it, 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 it's okay. Okay, take it as it resonates. It, it, but it's, this is a more of a specific reading today that I don't normally do for morning coffee, all right? Three shuffles. Post lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. July 17th. Okay, also, keep, uh, also guys, I am finding myself slipping up a little bit and wanting to say either January or actually what I'm wanting to say is this 2017. So yes, you are still, you're purging from something that maybe happened this past January, maybe happened last, last January, or things that maybe were catalyzed in 2017. Now, also today is a 717 day. Many of us have been seeing 717 or 17s all the time, uh, uh, really f frequently lately, like me. I've been seeing 17 all over the place lately, but you know what, it's cool. It's fine. All right, guys, post lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, what do you have for us, spirit? Best messages, please, spirit. And keep in mind, guys, I am keeping my eyes closed as I do this because um, as I pull these cards here, uh, okay, I'm going to do this one more time because there is no escaping the, the, the images on the cards. So I just, I want to make sure I get it all out first before I start channeling. So post lunar eclipse spirit, best messages, please. What are we, what are we moving towards? Yes. What are we purging? But what are we really ultimately, what are we moving towards? One. Okay. We're going to do this one more time. And then we'll see what we've got. Post-lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, 
16th and 17th of July. What are we moving towards? Okay. Overall energy, the Four of Pentacles. Okay. With the Six of Pentacles. Okay. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. Um, I feel like, well, first of all, what we're moving towards is greater stability. All right, we have a four again, okay? So this full moon energy and post-lunar eclipse is about fortification. Hands down, it's about fortification, all right? And it, and it really looks like what you're moving towards here is really gaining a greater manifestation of what it is you truly desire or what it is you truly want in life. This is what I'm feeling. That I'm really kind of feeling a self-mastery energy with this Four of Pentacles, but it's more about instead of doing the building work, now it's about really fortifying it, grounding it, because I feel like you've been doing the, the work, okay? You've been doing the actual building work, and now it's really time to really fortify it and ground it and make sure it's nice and solid for you to continue moving forward because you do have a future forward focus, okay? Six of Pentacles. Pentacles. And to me, what I'm seeing, and with the way that this card is depicted here, you see this young gentleman who's looking off into the distance with the six pentacles around his head. What I'm seeing here is you looking off into the distance and saying, okay, how can I be more balanced in my relationships? How can I bring more reciprocity into my life? How can I, how can I give, but also how can I receive in return? All right. That's a really beautiful energy. Um, well, 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 would you look at that? Yes, hunty. All right. Okay. So yeah, there definitely is. Woo. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to start here. Jumps, uh, judgment with the queen of pentacles. Now, judgment in this way, this side of the card came out last week, I believe it was. Um, and the queen of pentacles here is definitely you. All right. The queen of pentacles or is the, yeah, is the viewer. Um, for some of you, the Queen of Pentacles is, a, is someone you're cross-watching for, all right? She could be an Earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but also it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be an Earth sign. Um, but also this is that counterpart to the King of Pentacles that came out, okay? You are definitely changing your direction. If you resonate with the Queen of Pentacles energy, if you're resonating, resonating with her energy right now, I mean, I, I resonate with the Queen of Pentacles energy all the time, okay? Um, also though, my, I mean like, in Western astrology, my sun sign is Taurus and my rising sign is Virgo. So there you go. I resonate with the king and, qu king and queen of pentacles all the time. But I'm talking like in, in energetic makeup, who the queen of pentacles is. She is a wife and a mother. She's an excellent wife and an excellent mother. She's a fantastic homemaker. She is caring. She's compassionate. She's loving. She's, fortifi she's fortifying. She's grounded. She's, she's, she's such a giving energy. But listen, when the queen of pentacles turns her back, Depending, uh, okay, Spirit is wanting me to say, depending on the circumstances of why she may have turned her back, it may be really hard for her, it may be really hard for you to get her to turn back around, especially if you were manipulating her. If you, had, if you were manipulating her and she, came, and she became aware of it, good fucking luck. Like, <laughs> you're on your own, buddy. But if it's just a situation in which she finally was like, she, 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 she decided that it was best for her to change her focus and it's not in an... In an um, it's not out of any sort of animosity, malice, or resentment, then okay, you're all right. Don't worry about it. She, she, she could definitely turn back around. But what this feels like here is the Queen of Pentacles has turned towards the angel of judgment or redemption, okay? There's definitely an energy of feeling like... I, I, and honestly, I, what I want to say is I feel like this Queen of Pentacles has finally asked for help, has finally asked the universe, her higher self, God, source, creator, wh wh whatever deity you believe in that you, that, you, that you communicate with, that you're connected with. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles has finally asked for help and her redemption is coming, okay? You have the Three of Swords with the Devil. 
and both of them are in reverse. Now, the Three of Swords came out this way, okay? So, and it came out this way either earlier in the week or maybe it was last week, I'm not quite sure. But this was that energy, this was the purge energy, okay? This was the energy of you facing this heartbreak, maybe saying to yourself, wow, I can't believe I actually survived that, or oh my God, I almost died, or, um, just remembering the battle, maybe remembering some of the loss you might have felt because maybe the shield actually belongs to like a friend of yours or a dear partner, someone that didn't really make it out alive, some, that, some type of energy like that. And I'm not really saying anybody died, but you, it's, it's, it's symbology. You get, it's symbolism. You get it. Three, uh, with, but this is with the devil in reverse here, okay? So this attachment, this fear, this loss, this regret, this resentment, the, the devil here was in the energies of the Three of Swords. The devil here was keeping this, all of this, through the Three of Swords energy just flowing within you. And once we got to this full moon and this, this lunar eclipse here, people really started facing things. And now you are freeing yourself from the devil's clutches. And that is an excellent, excellent energy, okay? But then we get here. You have the tower with the page, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Page of Pentacles is upright, and the Seven of Cups is upright as well, all right? Someone, uh, what I just heard is something didn't go as well as someone had planned. All right, so in this energy, this is, this is really what you're moving towards here. Like I said, some of you are really changing direction. What I'm feeling with the Knight of Pentacles and the Tower here is that there was a situation in which you were taking it slow and steady. You were taking it one step at a time. You were saying, all right, I feel these feelings or okay, I see this opportunity and I'm going to, I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to, well, I'm gonna try not to think too much of it. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm not gonna, I don't really have any expectations, but also I, I see the potential. Um, I see where this could be heading. So let's take it slow and steady. But then some shit went down, something happened. It might have to do with this three of swords energy, or it doesn't even have to be some shit some, went down, something changed, the tower. And so that influenced someone, or that's influencing you potentially, to say, ooh, no more, stopping that one with the chariot in reverse. Can't go in that direction anymore. Let's change direction. So here you are, Page of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. Page of Pentacles is looking off into the distance. The Page of Pentacles to me is a brand new start, a brand new energy. Wow, that's, that's kind of heartbreaking. Because something even got to the point where you could say it, it went, it started at the page, it started at the page, and then it got to the night. And finally, and someone was kind of like, okay, yes, yes, okay, let's take this slow. It progressed from a page to a night. But then it feels, it literally feels like as soon as the energy got from that page to that night, destruction, something changed, course correction, maybe even a detour. And now you're back to your page of pentacles again. But this is a solitary page of pentacles. This is you, okay, got to start somewhere else now. But this doesn't feel too good because of this, seven of, this side of the seven of cups. This side of the seven of cups is a little brighter. See, you have that angel or that face appearing. But this side on the seven of cups, this isn't, you, you, you see that this guy is blind and is wandering around in a marsh and doesn't know what to do, doesn't know how to get out of there, can't find his way, and is surrounded by all these seven of cups. There is a lot of confusion here. There is a lot of confusion here. And with the four of pentacles that's in the overall energy, I, I really do feel like you are doubling down a little bit. You're really focusing on st stabilizing yourself right now because of the emotional wreckage that could come of the situation if you don't. Now, that's highly, that, that, that's 100% that's par for the course because this is a full moon energy. So this shit gets crazy sometimes. But also, I feel like you're really questioning what the hell went wrong here? Why, why did this happen again? It's like you're, you're literally looking up into the universe feeling completely blind. Like, what the fuck is this? 
Why did this happen again? I don't quite get it. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. And that could be, absolutely could be why this Queen of Pentacles is now asking for help. But there's some sort of redemption coming into play for the situation, all right? A resurrection is here. Or at least is coming through, uh, through these energies. Hold on, guys. I got to find... I want to, okay, because I want to move to the clarification section, but I forgot that my, my golden universal tarot is in my bag from our beach session yesterday. There's sand everywhere. <gasps> okay. So we're going to get into, we're going to get into some clarification now because, um, uh, yeah, we're ready to get into that. I'm gonna, I am gonna split this up into two separate sections, okay? First, I wanna clarify this, this energy right here, because this feels like it's immediate. This is the immediate energy. This is what you're, face, you're facing right now, all right? Course, this is, I mean like course correction, 100% course correction is what's happening here for you. And in, in some cases, it might be a detour. Mm. Mm. But I really don't even wanna like, I honestly don't even want to focus any attention or or expectation or hope on thinking this might be a detour for some of you, because, just because it's really not even necessary. It's more about the course correction for you, all right? Um, for some of you guys, I think this really feels like the last little, uh, like some last little bits of some things that is keeping you from really fully embodying. No, no, because you are embodying this Queen of Pentacles energy. She is upright, okay? Um, but it's the energy that is keeping you from manifesting a king of pentacles or a counterpart that is actually in alignment with you. But it, it has to do with your own inner alignment. There are certain things that are out of whack slightly that the angel here in judgment is and, and this redemption energy is helping you to cleanse out of your system, all right? So that's absolutely why you have this course correction here. So we're gonna start with that, okay? I wanna define, I wanna cla define or clarify this first individually on its own, and then we're gonna clarify this energy up here. All right, two more shuffles here. And then let's just get some clarity on this. Please, spirit. Last shuffle here. So what does this represent, Spirit? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the Tower in reverse, coupled with the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, both upright. Overall energy, you have the Four of Swords again here, so far. That's underneath the deck, okay. Yeah, guys, I just keep hearing course correction. All right, let's see what we got. So some clarity on this, on this section here, please, Spirit. The Knight of Cups. Good God. Good God. That's literally all they're giving me. Overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. I'm going to be 100% completely honest with you guys. Um, The first thing that came out with this Knight of Cups energy, the first thing I thought was potentially if you've dealt with a tower, a tower moment with somebody like somebody that would be that King of Pentacles to this Queen of Pentacles here. Again, it doesn't have to be Earth signs. All right. But we're talking about we're talking about the physical manifestation here. OK. Um, and we're, we also could be talking about career. This doesn't have to be love or relationships. This can be career, finances, whatnot, whatever. Just take it as it resonates and place it where it fits for you. But there could be someone that is that either is coming back around, may want to um, offer some sort of emotional love or, or emotional love, um, emotion or appreciation or something, maybe because you have pulled away, but that feels very selfish. That feels very selfish. In some cases, maybe the clarity that you're that you're needing here is because maybe you were you were kind of going moving forward slow and steady, but then the tower moment happened, and the clarity here is that mm, they might have been a little narcissistic or um, emotionally immature or just emotionally manipulative. But it's not anything really all that serious. It just feels like. 
um, it just feels like a bit of immaturity. It feels like someone that just likes to flirt, maybe. Um, they might be coming back around. There may be someone else that comes forward with, with that also, okay? Ten of Pentacles, though. I feel like the lessons has, either the lesson has been learned, because I do see the Ten of Pentacles as like a bit of a lesson learned, closing out of a, of a physical cycle, tens are completion, or, or the universe is asking you to be patient because in the long haul, in the long run, you're, you never really know what could happen. Ten of Pentacles, okay? So, all right. So now let's clarify. I want to clarify this then. Since that came out and that fell over on this side of the situation, let's look at the Page of Pentacles now and the Seven of Cups. Because with whatever happened here, I really do feel like a lot of you are in this, in this energy where you feel like you've been thrown back into the Page of Pentacles energy. You're starting all over again and you don't, you don't really know why this happened. You're really confused, you're shocked, you're scared, you're probably crying a little bit um, just because of all of the emotions that this may have thrown, drummed up for you, okay? So let's see, what do we have? What is this? Seven of, uh, sorry, Seven of Cups with the Page of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Okay, that's in between. All right, oof, okay. Spirit's taking me back up here now. All right, overall energy here. <laughs> Yeah, we have the High Priestess. Higher learning, I keep seeing 17, you guys, it's ridiculous. Higher learning, secrets being revealed, understanding deeper parts of yourself with the High Priestess. Also, also, this is the unknown. So with this situation with this person here, if this isn't, if you, like, whatever this individual represents for you or whatever this represents, whether this is a, a career, a friendship, or a romantic situation, uh, there are things you don't know about this. There are things that you don't know about what's going on in this situation where you were moving slow and steady, you were moving slow slow and steady, but then the tower struck and now you're changing your course, okay? Um, there are things, there's straight up, there are things you might not know, high priestess, all right? First card in between, ooh, four of pentacles again with the sun and the page of swords. Good God. I don't feel like, I really don't think this person is letting go of you. Again, there are things you don't know about this. This feels this feels like a really contradictory energy, you guys. I'm really not going to lie. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, but then you have the Sun. For some reason, there's an individual that's not letting go of this, even though this Queen of Pentacles has said enough. All right, fine. You've made your decision or I've made my decision. Let's just move forward with this. But this doesn't feel resentful. At this point, this Queen of Pentacles, what I'm feeling for this energy is this Queen of Pentacles has been has gone through so much hurt and so much resentment. She's finally broken down and said, I don't want to be resentful anymore. I'm going to ask for help now. I am finally ready to get myself out of this cycle. I don't want to deal with shit like this anymore. I don't care. What, maybe this person will come back. Maybe they won't. It doesn't matter. I just need help. And she's getting it. But then, and so the Queen of Pentacles here is the one that's dealing with the course direction. Well, I'm sorry, a course correction, but not really. The Queen of Pentacles is making a conscious decision to, 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 to change course. The counterpart in the King of Pentacles might be stuck and might be the one that is saying, that is not letting go. E even though even though you may not be really in communication with them um, or you know things just aren't the same between the two of you right now, whatever, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. Place that where it fits, but it's like somebody's watching you. Someone's watching and not letting go. And ultimately, I, I wanna say this is a good thing with the sun here. Things might be better than you think. Also, though, the sun is representing illumination. So maybe this person who could be watching you, if you're the queen of pentacles and you know, some, you, you're changing your direction, you're changing your course, this person is watching you, could be watching you and gaining some sort of enlightenment from you, gaining some sort of wisdom from you, gaining some sort of illumination, starting to see things clearly, clearer, starting to understand something on a different level. Or they're watching you because they still have feelings. Hmm. 
Knight of Cups. So now I'm seeing, if you look at these overall energies here, I don't want to move these decks, but if you look at these overall energies here, you have the Four of Pentacles, which is a masculine figure, and then you have the High Priestess, which is the feminine figure. There is definitely a balance between masculine and feminine here. And I feel like for a certain, there are certain individuals here, it most likely might be you as the viewer. Um, or if not, if you are the viewer and you're not this balanced individual with this balance of masculine and feminine, then it's the, cro then it's the person that you're cross-watching for, okay? Um, or it's the person that you are connected with that is involved in this situation for you. You may not necessarily, I just realized, you may not necessarily be watching Morning Coffee for a cross-watching type situation because for me, uh, that would be more for the Zodiac readings, to be quite honest. Um, in my opinion, or as as it feels like for me, morning coffee is just like is like your time. This is this is me and you here. I'm having a conversation with you about what's going on with you. Int that those are my intentions. I'm not trying to pull specifically on energies of someone that you're connected with, but because you're connected with them and you're dealing with the situation, the energies are going to come through. Okay. Anyway, what I was saying here is there is a balance between masculine and feminine in this situation. Um, the feminine he feminine here is the high priestess. She's keeping secrets. I just saw seventeen again. Again, this is getting scary. She's keeping secrets, but she's keeping secrets because the universe is working in the background. And her advice to you is to stay grounded and not really take too much action right now from a masculine point of view, okay? Just hold, hold back. Hold your space. Hold your ground. St hold your stability and just work from there. I want to get a final closing message from the Tarot here. And then we're going to close the reading with an oracle card. All right. I don't I don't I don't normally do do like this, do it like this. <clears throat> normally I just do one clarification, but I want to get an overall message and I don't want to use the same deck. Just an overall closing message on uh, there's something else that wants to come through. So closing message from the tarot. I'm gonna give this five shuffles, so four. And five. All right, here we go, guys. Final closing message from the Tarot, advice. This feels, what's coming through, Spirit is saying, this, this, is a, this advice is for the individual that resonates with the Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? Final closing advice from, ooh, the King of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Wands. All right. Um, first of all, what I'm going to say here is someone, most likely that masculine that you're dealing with, made a judgment call that is now burdening, burdening them to all hell. Six of Swords, though. You can't do anything about it. Six of Swords is the overall energy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Two of Cups, Eight of Cups, Four of Cups. Well, that was a missed opportunity, wasn't it? Well, shit. Very interesting. Yeah, feminine. The masculine made a judgment call, and now he's burdened as all shit. <laughs> um, and I only say that because the King of Swords is in reverse. The King of Swords is the judge, all right? Is the diplomat, okay? Diplomacy, you know? Um, Either they've made a judgment call or they are not being, they're not seeing something clearly. They're not being as objective as possible because of some sort of burden. So either they made a decision and, okay, I'm going to speak to you directly. Masculines, either, either you made a decision that is not working well for you, um, is not giving you what you want, potentially is what I'm hearing. Um, is causing more stress and more burden, is putting more on your plate than maybe you realized it would. 
um, or you just made a decision from a place of having a ton of burdens here and not from, a, from an objective place. You made a decision from a place of obligation. As a result, though, there was, in fact, a missed opportunity. Four of Cups or maybe some sort of unrequited love. Okay. Um, you have the Two of Cups here, but you have the Eight of Cups. So Divine Feminine or Queen of Pentacles. You need to walk away and go out there and search for that two of cups to complete your 10. This is not a situation in which you have built this with this person. That's not what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you have built, you have stacked these eight cups on your own. These are your eight cups, Queen of Pentacles. If that, because this is mostly advice for the Queen of Pentacles energy here. You have built these cups, you've stacked these cups for yourself. So now you need to walk away or move on to find your two of cups so that you can complete that 10. And don't let this situation get you down, this four of cups, whatever this four of cups represents for you. Either this is um, a romantic situation or maybe this is a business. I do feel like for some of you, this is financial or this is a business partnership that maybe just dissolved or maybe went a little wrong, uh, went a little left. Um, and don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. Six of Swords, just keep your mind clear and really work on not being resentful, even though I do really feel like you're not in that energy right now, or at least you're trying not to be in that energy. Um, just, and honestly, the only, the really only, really only real reason I say that, Queen of Pentacles, is because it's just going to stress you out. The more you obsess over it, the more you allow resentment to build, build or whatnot, whatever, it's just going to stress you out. Okay? So don't do it to yourself. It's not necessary. And if, the king, if this individual with the King of Swords wants to, wants to stay in this place or do this, what, make, whatever, let him. Again, it has nothing to do with you, all right? It has nothing to do with you. Okay. Closing message, Oracle Guidance. Here we go. Best message, please, spirit to, woo, there it is. There it is. And it feels like it's multiple. I think it's two, yes. So we have card number 26, Ascended Master Kuthumi and Moss Agate, uh, Sacred Ecosystem. And then we have card number 19, Master Serapis Bay and Clear Calcite, Karmic Grace. All right. Uh, we're going to start with 26 because I just turned straight to 25 and then there's 26. So here we go. <laughs> we bring you the blessing of the sacred ecosystem. This is a gift of conscious connection, supportive relationship and magnetism, which attracts you to the souls in need of your light. One where you once may have felt as though you were not in the right place. This blessing shall now rectify that. You are meant to belong and contribute freely to your true soul community. You are destined to feel as though you have found your way home and can attract and be attracted to those who, that can support you and benefit from your support too. As you let go of past rejection, of the belief you have to accomplish your divine life mission on your own or fight to have your place in the world, you will allow the power of the sacred ecosystem to transform your life. This is literally the Queen of Pentacles asking for help. Okay. Your life purpose shall flourish and your experience of conscious connection with the world around you will heal your heart and soothe your soul. Beautiful. And then finally, we have karmic, uh, uh, card 19, karmic grace. Yeah, I already just with that, spirit is kind of giving me an energy of like, girl, don't you even worry about it because you're, don't you just don't even worry about it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> we bring you the blessing of karmic grace. There are many ways to learn and grow. So uh, some ways are joyful and some more challenging. Sometimes a challenge can best be resolved through profound struggle that forces you to transform in such a way that you can never go back to what has been. The struggle might have been deeply painful for the mind, body, and emotions, and yet what is gained from that experience is a multiplicity of blessings, personal power, freedom, insight, self-respect, and wisdom. These qualities then help you live a better life where the past pain need not be repeated. 
Blessings can at other times be gained through joyful experience. Sometimes the struggle is what will bring you the greatest spiritual progress. Sometimes a more joyful path will be how you grow the best. The universe loves you with such passion that you shall never be denied what you most need and what shall help you fulfill your divine destiny. You hear that, Queen of Pentacles? Okay. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!